Infamous having a hard time off the break here as Bobby Avilis ends up getting taken out, and so does Brad McCurley. So here comes X Factor down the snake side. Billy Renaccia clocking in uh, and getting some good field progression, and also on that Dorito side. And wow, just X, going X Factor. Yeah, X Factor's looking real crisp here to start this that out. Was, that was amazing off the break shots by X Factor taking out three infamous players on the break. Uh, Billy Minacci taking full advantage of getting down the snake, Maddie and Steve. Steve used to be really good at that, getting the snake, recognizing when there's nothing stopping you, and just getting down the field as quickly as possible. And that's what that's what Billy, like like Matt said earlier, that's what Billy's made made his name in the beginning, is getting to the snake and going down. And you know, X Factor started like this against uh, Dynasty. They shot a lot of guys in the break, got a 3-0 lead, went down 6-3, scored two 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 more uh, to make the game a lot inter more interesting. And they're doing it. They did it against Infamous here. But well, let's see if, if they can stay composed this whole match because that's th that's what they need to work on. Yeah, composure always so so key. So here we go. First one is going to go to San Antonio X Factor, and we will be right back after this. ANS Gear rocks the largest inventory of any paintball retailer. From our massive selection of guns to our endless supply of goggles, paint, loaders, tanks, and apparel. With your choice of free shipping on orders over $100 to next day, Saturday, or international shipping options, you get the products you need sooner. Shop now at ansgear.com. And we are back here. So let's take a look at the games that have happened so far today and what we got coming up. Trenton Top Gun Union lost to DMG, the very first game of the day in the Challengers division, along with Texas Storm dropping one to a, a Sacramento excessive looks real good so far at this event. And then Infamous came up, beat Vicious four, uh, sorry, seven to four, and then Dynasty, a very interesting game against back and forth game against a uh, game of runs against X Factor who needs to win right now. And then uh, LA Ironman just lost to Omaha Vicious. Vicious looking real strong, doing everything pretty much as, as well as they could do. And uh, now we got Infamous taking on X Factor, and then also to start the afternoon's competition, San Diego Dynasty gonna take on the LA Ironman Battle of SoCal, and then Edmonton Impact 187 crew, 2 4, uh, 215, these are all central time. And then Tampa Bay Damage taking on Tauntauns, uh, Houston Heat upped in 187 crew, Edmonton Impact, Tauntaun Flingers, and Tampa Bay Damage and Houston Heat to close out the day. I can't wait to see that game because uh, Jacob Edwards just left damage where his brother still plays and he went to Houston Heat. So, and sure enough, of course, the paintball gods are going to make them play each other on the very first day when that move happens. So, look at an infamous getting ready to roll here for this next point. Damian Ryan already clocking in for a kill, as along with, uh, also along with Bobby Avilas, who have really been the two standouts this year so far for that team. And they also have Nikki Cube out there, longtime veteran and superstar player. Brandon Mayo making his, getting a spin out there. Brandon Mayo, a lot of people that have been in, involved in the game for just a little bit won't remember his name, but he was a big time player a couple years ago. And after taking a break, he's back on Infamous and played well for them in a couple spins uh, in the last event. And it looks like Brandon Mayo, though. <laughs> Get Curtis. Yeah, it's, it's, he's going to take the walk early. And Colt Roberts also takes the walk early for San Antonio X Factor. But look at this, number 23, Zach Wake who got picked up to play the snake for X Factor, doing some work in there. Does Zach know that Damien Ryan's at the A now? Yeah, yeah, he knows he's there. I mean, and Damien is kind of, he, he's kind of stuck in a hard spot right now. Zach Wake's just gonna go down the snake a little bit and get a little better shot on him. Uh, shooting across the field, Zach Wake's not gonna shoot the other guy in the pack. I'm not sure exactly who that is, but that's gonna close out the game. Right now, X Factor looking pretty crisp, Matty. Yeah, X Factor really came in hungry for this one wanting to get a victory after what we thought. I mean, it looked like they were going to blow Dynasty out when that yeah. game started, but Dynasty ended up fighting back and taking that victory. And that's two times this year that Dynasty has fought back from a 3-0 deficit, and they're really helping that stat out to make it yeah. back go back the other way because it doesn't look good. The one we keep saying, don't do. Yeah. You so, know what? Look at this, Maddie. This is something that I used to do all the time on the breakout, the half moon shot. You come up to that tower, and then you half moon it across and go to the opposite side of the X or A. 
Um, that works very well because a lot of people don't see you sneak up there and you have get, you got to clip and a couple people are trying to get the fillers that come out that side. Um, Damien's doing a really, really good job about that right now. So versatile with Damien Ryan. You, you know, we see him play in the back corner bunker on the snake side sometimes. We've seen him run up the center. He plays the insert. He's all over the field and the most consistent member of, of, uh, of Infamous so far this season. So, but right now, man, Infamous not looking good in this game as San Antonio X Factor's up two to zero. We'll be right back after this. Going into these events, equipment's what matters. On our team, we're so talented. Uh, my job has fallen into like a role player's position. In order for Kyle or Brandon or Alex to make these moves, they need support so that we can win the tournament. And that's what I'm doing with this LV1. I'm able to go to a spot and get a lot of drop shots on people and really shoot just directly over a bunker where people think they're safe. And the next thing you know, I'm getting those kills. My name is Oliver Lang from San Diego Dynasty and I shoot the LV1. Welcome back, guys. We are right in the middle of the infamous versus X Factor game. X Factor is up 2-0 right now. Uh, that was a really close match um, earlier. What do you guys need to do, and what's your attitude coming out here this time? Well, we want to do much of the same thing. Um, we came out there and put it on Dynasty pretty hard. I uh, felt like we kind of dropped towards the middle of the game. We were losing our back guys, and we let them get back in the match. But we want to do the same thing, just clean it up, stay a little bit more tight through the mid game, and, and keep the pressure up. All right, nine seconds. We'll see if they keep it up. Go now, X. Come on, baby. Let's go. Colt Roberts, solid professional right there. So here we go, San Antonio X Factor. They got Manny Mayor, Scott Kemp, Billy Bernaccia, Grayson Goff, and Dixon Yang taking the field for him this point. And a good cross field spread for San Antonio X Factor. And it looks like Infamous is dropping bodies off the break again. Yeah, you know, unfortunately, you know, losing, losing Bobby Avilas, that's never a good thing. Um, but getting in the snake, I believe, is Brad McCurley going to work. And then 21, Billy Bernaccia for X Factor getting up in there. And they, they, lose, they lose Robert Villas and Bob, Nicky Cube on the break on that one. So five well, on three right here, Chris. Well, it is a crucial point right now. And, you know, I said Infamous is renowned for giving up those couple points um, out of the gate. And, you know, when we play together, Steve, you know, <laughs> we just might as well start the game down four points because that's pretty much how it ends up. Yeah. But they're a second half team, and uh, you can never, ever count anybody out on Infamous for sure. Well, yeah, we said that earlier. You know, the Infamous is the second half team. They've proven that over the years. As and we say that, they just take out Dixon Yang in the snake corner. So you got Brad McCurley in here in the snake. You're looking at the, the snake battle going down here between Billy Bernacci, number 21 for San Antonio X Factor, right hand portion of your screen. And also Brad McCurley for Los Angeles Infamous, number 13. Brad McCurley was the MVP of the final game here when Infamous won the Chicago Open in 2012 last season. And Brad McCurley and Damian Ryan are roommates, and they are very hungry to try to repeat here and win this event again. And they're playing a San Antonio X Factor team that last year, the whole motto of the team was, look, we're tired of being mid-level boss. We want to contend. They ended up taking third at World Cup, so they had a pretty good season last year. Brad McCurley tries to run down Billy Bernacci. He does. Billy Bernacci gets taken out, and now RJ Montemayor and Damian Ryan fill, refill the snake for both teams. You know, great heads up ball by those guys. You see across the field, the Colt Roberts, um, I believe, uh, Scott Kemp actually, for San Antonio X Factor at that 50 Dorito across the field, um, making moves. He's another stellar player on, those, on that Dorito side. Take it out, number three. Drew Templeton. Drew Templeton taking the walk. Now it's a two on one. Damian Ryan taking on Scott Kemp and I think Archie Monterey. Oh, sorry, three on one. Three on one. Yeah, it's, it's kind of hard. I don't care who you are. It's hard to come back from, from something like that on a field like this. Yeah, um, and when you're the last player and you're fighting three dudes in the snake, not, not, so, not so easy. Well, well he, wow, how good does San Antonio X Factor look right now? They look great. Ar they, Archie's got two kills. Billy Bernacci is playing great. He's got four. Grayson Goff's got three. And Dixon Yang's got one. So, and they're up three to zero right now. Let's, you know, ch let's check out the stats here for Colt Roberts. He's doing a little higher than middle of the pack. Uh, he's doing pretty solid on the kills. Good on survivability. He's starting a ton of points, and Colt's one of those guys that you really want to get him as many reps as possible because he can single-handedly break open that Dorito side of the field. And we're going to be right back after a few messages.
Welcome back to the 2013 PSP Chicago Open presented live by PaintballAccess.com. Maddie Marshall, we have to say goodbye to Steve Rabikoff, but we welcome back Todd Martinez. He's back from coaching Vicious to a victory. And we also have Chris Asoy up here. We're watching San Antonio X Factor uh, beat up on Los Angeles Infamous so far here with 15 minutes and 11 seconds to go. The score is 3-0. to zero. And X Factor looking real sharp right now, looking really good. And looking at Infamous getting ready to roll, there's Damian Ryan, the standout star in 2013. Now on the flip side, looking at Zach Wake and the rest of the guys for San Antonio X Factor, ready to roll here for this next point here. And now on the split screen breakout, X Factor on the left hand side, Infamous on the right. And let's see if these teams can keep five bodies alive. It's been a real struggle for everybody as lots of dying happening off the break here during these games so far this morning. And Zach Wake on your screener there, getting a cross field shot on Infamous. That's number three, I think, Nikki Cuba um, taking a walk for, I'm uh, sorry, that's Drew Templeton, number three. But Zach Wake going to work, what he's known for, really, really quick in that snake. Look for him to go down the snake pretty quick, though, feeling in the snake right now on this side is Bobby Avilas for Infamous. X Factor sure looks sharp everywhere they go right now. Zach Wake really getting into that spot. Bobby Avilas is really floating in that back center trying to get kills on the break. But Infamous loses their snake quarter, Brandon Mayo. He comes walking off the field right now. Just Damian Ryan and Bobby Avilas on the snake side for Infamous. Yeah, and so good field position over here with uh, Damian Ryan backing up his player for Infamous over on the snake side of the field. On the flip side, Zach Wake has got a back player as well. And then you're looking at the Dorito side lineup for X Factor on your screen. And now a move being made over there to back up Colt Roberts, who's in a real good field position at that 50-yard line Dorito. Yeah, that looks like Dixon Yang over there. Oh, no, maybe not. Alex Martinez right there in the center of your field. You see him on the left side of your screen. You have Grayson Goff and Ninos with the five on three advantage right now. Just Kevin Rudolph alive for Infamous on the Dorito side of the field. X-Factor trying to stack it up right now. Make a push. They're really trying to push the Dorito side hard. Oh, and Zach oh, Wake oh, oh. gets a major. That's his second major this tournament in two games. Man, that, that's just, and that, that was, again, you know, you, when, you, when the ref sits there and calls you out, um, that's just, that, that's pretty much the end of it. You know, they call you out, and because he didn't leave right away, he sat there and was kind of discussing the options with himself. <laughs> yeah, what a swing right now for Infamous. Now they get two bodies to come off this side, even it back up at a three on three. And that's Grayson Goff over there on the Dorito side trying to put paint back at, uh, at Bobby Vilas. He's right behind Colton Roberts. So Bobby Vilas kind of cross to the next leg of the snake. Should have a shot at Colt, but Colt takes off running to go get Cali. Kelly has no oh, idea. What a and Colt move. breaks the game open right now. And also Alex Martinez, the owner of X Factor, he's getting a spin out here and blows off Bobby Vilas' uh, loader and was uh, able to get a good kill here in the snake, and Colt Roberts was blowing things open down that Dorito side of the field. And wisely for X-Factor, playing it slow, trying to burn off some more of that clock uh, on the major penalty of Zach Wake, but Infamous wisely blows the horn and ends it. What a great job by X-Factor to fight through. You know, they lost Zach Wake on that major penalty and it wasn't looking good for him, but the rest of the boys, Colt Roberts and Alex Martinez, able to step up. Let's check out the replay over here. Colt Roberts' big move. So look at this, launches from that 50, comes through. You notice no one's looking at him. Where perfect, perfect timing. <laughs> perfect timing from Colt Roberts, gets all the way into the backfield. And then bad timing by Damian Ryan, diving in the snake, just leaving him wide open to Colt Roberts to blow his face off. Yeah, so uh, Infamous is really struggling here in this matchup. You know, I, I would have never guessed four to zero um, on this game right here. I mean, yes, X Factor is looking fantastic. Infamous, yes, is a second half team. Um, but I would never expect a 4-0 score right now um, from this two-team matchup. Well, you've coached this team. Todd, give us some insight. What do you think's going on over there? Well, honestly, I mean, it, it's tough because Bobby Villas is playing that black, that back uh, blind spot, and he's shooting people, but sometimes it's, um, they're losing bodies. So, I mean, if, if he gets a kill, cool, but they have to capitalize on it. But the thing is, is right now, X-Factor is just playing so strong on the Dorito side, uh, I would really just try and get bodies out alive. You mm -hmm. know, whether or not you get that kill on the break, uh, I believe Infamous is a better, uh, better team five on five. And if Infamous can see that X Factor is really stacking up that Dorito side, I think they should try and match them over there. Yeah, absolutely. So 
We're going to be right back here. X Factor dominating this competition here uh, in this particular matchup. We'll see you in a second. Welcome back. I am here with Travis Lemensky in the infamous pit. You guys are playing X Factor. You're down four right now, but you still have 12 and a half minutes. So what do you need to do to get some points? Um, basically, we're going to have to press it pretty hard, um, press the snake a little bit, and tie up this Dorito side. That's where they seem to be going pretty fast. So we're trying to stop them up over here and, and get going over there. Are they coming out a little more aggressive than you were anticipating? Nah, we just we didn't stick to game plans. We came off zones and did some dumb stuff. So. All right, well, it starts in 30 seconds. We'll see if they can get this point. Well, I think it's it's good for Infamous that they have Travis Guy in the ship right now. Uh, the situation, though, is that, you know, they yeah, just like he was saying, it, 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 with X Factor, X Factor is just in the zone right now. They're, they have guys stepping up, you know, individual players breaking things open regardless of the situation. Even when they get a major penalty, which we still have a minute and 14 seconds left to see Zach Wake wait to get out of that box. So here we go, looking at Infamous on the breakout. Can they make it happen? 12 minutes and 34 seconds remain. Brad McCurley all the way. Looks like he got clipped, though. Trying to get into Snake 1. And yes, you're right, uh, Matty. He did get clipped over the top of that bunker. Diving into Snake 1. Infamous down now. Yeah, Drew Templeton stayed home on the Dorito side and shot the Dorito side. Bounced Colt Roberts going out to that corner. Ooh, looks like Archie just took a bounce there. And that can on the inside as well. But Infamous needs to get up the field and score some points. They do have the advantage right now, but they lose Bobby Vilas on the bump. Damian Ryan, Drew Templeton, and Callie Rudolph still alive. But Billy Bernaccia goes all the way to the end of Infamous's snake right away. Here comes Damian. He's going to bunker out Billy. Nice job by Stay Damian alive. Ryan. What a great move by Damian. You're right, man. So, so quick. So smooth and stays alive in the process. That's a textbook bunker move, but I think he might have got shot. Referees are in there checking him out. He's got to be careful. Don't want to get another penalty over there. Just 16 seconds left, but Callie Rudolph gets shot out of the 50 Gerudo. Dixie was, Yang gets he, shot. No, by, that was a shot by Damian. <laughs> wow. What a good shot by Damian Ryan over the top. And here's going to come Zach Wake. Oh, major penalty on somebody. Zach Wake looked like he shot from the box. He picked up his gun like he was coming. He may not have shot, but I think the referee threw a major for him picking up his gun. If he shot, that should definitely be a major. But I think the ref may have. I didn't it see it. Did you, did you see it? Yeah, I, he was standing in the doorway on the snake. Using side it as of a bunker? Box. No, he picked his gun up. There were still two seconds left. Okay. He wasn't allowed to come out yet, but he picked up his gun like he was going to shoot Damien running down the snake. And I think that's why they threw the major on him. But Zach Wake is going to get comfortable <laughs> and stay in the box for another two minutes. Make not, a little campfire in there. Not, yeah. <laughs> Some s'mores out. I mean, it's, it, it looks like a <laughs> coloring giant, book. He's going to get a, he's going to get a, a, you know, a shoe shine. Going to get yeah. a manicure, pedicure, mani pedi. Yeah. It's a, uh, I mean, he might as well buy a timeshare for that <laughs> over there, you know, because like. As much time oh, as he gets there, God. he might want to get a discounted rate or something. Yeah. Wow. Well, but it's it's unfortunate because the we and we talk about this when when we talk about Zach. Zach, awesome talent, great player, gets a lot of penalties. Small mental mistakes. It's always small mental mistakes with Zach. But man, wow. Yeah, yeah, you know, the referees are explaining to him right now. He's trying to plead his case a little bit. But I mean, this is exactly what Infamous is needed. Uh, X Factor burnt that minute 46 off. They're gonna have to burn another full two minutes off, but they got one point on a great move by Damian Ryan. 
but still four to one and plenty of time to go in this game, 11 minutes left. Yeah, Damian totally blew that game open and then had a great snapshot over the top on, I think it was Archie Montemayor. Um, but man, what a, Dixon. what a, Dixon, I'm sorry, oh, Dixon. Dixon Yang. At least they're getting on the board. Yeah, yeah. And it's that. definitely gonna, let's check out this replay real quick. So here on the replay, look at that. Todd, talk us through what you saw. Yeah, I saw him right there. He picked up his gun. It looked right there like he actually took a shot. But the ref was staring at him when he did that and uh, definitely pulled out that red flag. I, I just, and honestly, I, I, looking, at, the looking at the replay, um, I kind of agree with the ref. He looked like he was almost playing that bunker. <laughs> you know, so. Well, yeah, I mean, come on, Zach. Like, that's. What, I mean, what do you guys I mean, think he, about he, that? He like, let's look at it again. It looks like he's going to play, and then he tucks back in. He, oh, he, oh, he, he actually did shot. Shoot. Yeah, he, so. Yeah, no, and, and, and honestly, that, then that's a great call by the judges. So two more minutes to sit in the box. Actually, I think they gave him a minor. There's only 50, 51 seconds in the, on the uh, clock right now. Yeah. So that means they gave a minor penalty for that. So yeah. here we go. Damian Ryan trying to get up in the center for Infamous. And X Factor on their heels. Infamous still on the power play. Damian Ryan still continuing to step up for Infamous. Five confirmed kills for him. Drew Templeton one, Bobby one, and Kevin Kelly Rudolph. He's got three. X Factor dropping bodies. Archie Montemayor, Grayson Goff still alive. Now Grayson Goff, last player, and he gets taken out. That game was all Damian Ryan coming up the center. You talked about it. I've been waiting for it. The run through in the middle. Now it wasn't quite a run through, but it was a sneak attack. Um, Damian Ryan. Got he's got a lot. Of, he's got a lot of tools in his kit, man. Yes, he does. Amazing play right there by Damon, but good backup play by also uh, by Bobby Avilas, uh, Nikki Cuba, and Kevin Rudolph as yeah, well. Yeah, Damian got three Drew more. Templeton. So here's his stats. Ninth ranked player in the world right now. Great kill percentage, uh, 0.73. And the way that works is it's basically kills per point. His survival rating, 76%, which is great. You know, you notice Damian's always one of the last guys left alive. He's starting almost every single point for Infamous. I, I, yeah, I, that's perfectly logical. You want to get that guy out there as much as possible, and he's got the, uh, you know, got the tank to do it. So we're going to be right back after this. Do not go anywhere. are back also want to spend a special shout out to everyone watching all across the world you know webcast is seen in over 100 countries you know south africa germany france russia brazil there's so many guys out there uh big paintball fans you know paintball is a worldwide activity millions of people play it across the globe and there's just uh it, it, that's one of the cool things about the events you get to meet all these people from all over the world and that's one of the awesome things about the sport itself you know so i mean if you're out there and maybe you're watching this this game for the first time it's incredibly exciting and super fun thing to do, and, and you just get to travel to all these you know, places and meet all these people from all over. Yeah, paintball's about community. You know, it's about the other people that share the same experiences that you do, come out here, spend their time, money, to travel these tournaments and have fun. On the breakout, you see right there, LA Infamous coming out strong on this snake side of the field, Matty. Yeah, and so Infamous. Look three on the break. Yeah, the, X yeah X Factor lose is starting to lose the momentum here as Infamous starting to charge back. I think a lot of that has to do with the penalties of Wake. So he's going to have to uh, yeah. Yeah, it's always <laughs> explain tough himself. Four on five. The books, you know, of, like, the books of Wake. Yes. Talk about momentum killing. You know, it's like being down a couple runs, you know, get two guys on and then you hit into a double play. You know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. And like, they're up four to zero on LA Infamous, who's a really tough, resilient team. And then you get two back-to-back -back majors, you know, the double play, and just, you know, next thing you know, you got one guy on, two outs, and Damian Ryan is running through the middle of your baseball diamond, <laughs> bunkering your friends. <laughs> you know, yeah, and, and so <laughs> with nine minutes, nine minutes, 44 seconds to go here, and a resurgent Los Angeles Infamous starting to take it to San Antonio X Factor, who has the win taken from their sales. And it's not necessarily, I don't know, I don't want to say it's all the penalties. It has a lot to do with Infamous starting to get their game, but it definitely helps that, you know, when you, when you see those flags start to go up, you're like, oh, we got a chance. You know, it's, it's one of those things. So 
I, I just think that uh, Next Factor needs to just double down here, really start to play tighter, and, and keep with what's working. Yeah. Absolutely. S second half team. We talked about it before. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, I mean, yeah, I, you I, called it. I mean, yeah, I was saying Infamous is a second half team. Spot them so. four points, just like they did. You know, and uh, we'll come back and we'll beat you up in a little bit. <laughs> you know? Yeah. In a mission. Uh, Todd, congratulations on your win, buddy. We're happy for you. Yeah, Thank how you. you feeling about I that? I appreciate it. It felt real good. You know, uh, the guys came out, tightened it up a little bit on the Dorito side. It I looked felt like, like that. In, the, uh, in the Infamous game, we were just throwing bodies away left and right on that Dorito side. We shot a guy in the break almost every game, it felt like, mm -hmm. but then would just make bad moves. But, I mean, Infamous, they're, they're good at coming back. They're resilient, you know, and, and they made us pay for those small mistakes we made. <laughs> yeah, in the first one, but definitely that win against Ironman was solid, but your core's playing great. You're shooting guys off the break, like you're saying. I like your play calling. Not just saying that because you're up here and you're my boy, but, no, it's looking sharp, and then, then the rookies are playing good. Keith DeVitt had a big move. Munoz is contributing. He was actually your kill count leader for the whole game. Nice. Yeah, yeah so I, I, was, I was very impressed, so I just want to take my hat off to you. I would, but it, it stuck to my head because he went out here. <laughs> Chicago, great weather though right now four to three la infamous coming back from a four zero deficit yeah Appreciate it, guys and we're about to get going here start of this next point little under 10 minutes to play all right here we go on the breakout x factor going back up the middle again but they lose their body going up the center and colt roberts looks like he gets a bounce nope he is walking off the field right now and la infamous is just roping people on the break right now bobby avilas Damian Ryan, Brad McCurley down here in the snake corner. Bobby Vilas comes into the Dorito or the snake one. Only one body on his side. X Factor has two bodies left alive. Make that one body as Dixon Yang walks out of the snake side corner. Just one body left alive in the Dorito corner. And here comes Damian Ryan and Bobby Vilas and Brad McCurley. And everybody. Side. <laughs> yeah. And everybody. <laughs> just converging on the last body, and Damian Ryan gonna grab that flag and run it in and tie this ball game up four to four. What a game! Yeah, man. it is, man. We had a four-point run from San Antonio X Factor, looking dominant, and then here comes Infamous, refusing to go quietly, and Kevin Rudolph is fighting Damian Ryan right now, and uh, and also this game brought to you by Avid Extreme Sports, Ryan Gray. And all the guys from Avid, they do such a great job if you're in the Oklahoma, North Texas area. Definitely check out their local series, their stores, their fields. They're big supporters of, the, of, of, of paintball in that area of the world. And, you know, we need to give love to the people that are supporting us. And, we, you know, it's got to go back the opposite way. So, looks like we've got a timeout. It's all, all tied up at four apiece. Eight minutes and 54 seconds to go. And we will see you in just a second. We are back here watching uh, these two very two closely matched teams right now. 4-0 run to start off the game by X Factor. And then boom, here comes Infamous with Kevin led by uh, the kills of Callie Rudolph and, uh, and Damian Ryan who have eight and nine apiece respectively. Also want to give you guys a little bit of information uh, of the, from the Challengers field. Uh, Moscow Red Legion just played Sacramento Excessive. Two of the teams favored to come out of that division and move back in to the Champions Division. And uh, Moscow Red Legion beat up Sacramento 7-1. to one. And Sacramento was able to beat uh, Texas Storm pretty solidly this morning. So they're 1-1 one and one on the day. And we will give you guys more of those scores as they come into us. Again, this game brought to you by Avid Extreme Sports. Definitely want to, you know, again, help out the people that are helping paintball out if you're in the North Texas or Oklahoma area. Check out all the stuff that they got out to offer. So here we go, boys. 4-4. Who do you think is going to take it? Infamous. Infamous. I mean, this X Factor just had they, a game they got like the momentum. this against Dynasty. You yeah. Know? I mean, X Factor wasn't able to come back that game. You know, I think Infamous is going to just keep the, the momentum rolling right now again. You know, they got just, just I mean, just pretty much... 
you're, you're like, it's, uh, Zach Wake's a double-edged sword. You know, he's going to go out and get you four kills, or he's going to go out and get you four minutes. <laughs> you know? That's, yeah. It's you, you, you never know. I mean, but that's the thing with Zach, and that's the reason he still is always on really highly competitive, awesome teams and high-level yep. teams. He's a great talent. Yes, it's just 100%. one of those things that if he could just dial back the dial back those penalties a little bit, man, I, I think that you know obviously it would just it would bode well for his game. Right. And it took me a while to stop actually you know getting so many penalties too. I never did quite figure it out. Um, <laughs> but <laughs> if I would have, you know. But like I said, you know Zach Wake, a true, he's a great paintball player. He's played an infamous. He probably wants to beat these guys more than than um, the whole team of X Factor does because he's played on them before, and you know but. I got hats off to those guys, man. Damian Ryan and and uh, Bobby and all those guys. Great, 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 great play calling by Travis Lemansky over there, doing work. Yeah, good job getting back in this game. You know, now they're giving them an opportunity with nine minutes left to go here. See if Infamous can go two and zero on the day. Could make things very interesting if X Factor can pull this out, though. Here we go, split screen breakout. Infamous on your right, San Antonio X Factor on your left. There's X Factor getting Billy Bernaccia into Snake One, and it looks like they lose Dixon Yang out of the center off the break. Yeah, but they shot both bodies off of the Dorito side of LA Infamous. Walking off right now, Kevin Rudolph and Drew Templeton uh, really early. So X Factor with two bodies on that Dorito side that they really like attacking, plus Billy Bernaccia is in the Snake Infamous is in the Bermuda Triangle over here on the snake side. <laughs> in that tall can, the corner, and the big Dorito as Damian Ryan gets clipped when Colt Roberts bumps up to the Dorito side, but Colt Roberts gets shot as well. So now a three on two ball game with just Bobby Avilas and Brad McCurley left alive, but two very clutch performers, fairly infamous Billy Bernaccia and the clutch man himself, Archie Montemayor over there, protecting Billy, let Billy go to work. And then Grayson Goff, the lone man on the Dorito side for X Factor. Yeah, and X Factor, you know, trying to make a make a play of it right now. Billy Bernaccia getting up in the snake, as you see there. He kind of has the ball, Maddie. Yeah, he does have the ball right now. Uh, but the issue is they have three players. Infamous has two. And, you know, X Factor is obviously in a little bit better position because of the extra body advantage. They have Montemayor, Bernaccia, and Goff out there. And all those guys have, have, have been contributing. Billy's got four kills, Grayson's got four, and Archie's got two. So Brad McCurley and Bobby Avilis, and we also have some time left, seven minutes and 23 seconds left, so this could be one of those long drawn out points. Yeah, you talk about kill leaders in this match right now. Damian Ryan with 10, Callie Rudolph with eight, Colt Roberts with six, you know, doing work for their teams right now. But this one's gonna be a tight one, 7.06 now on the game clock. Remember, we are all tied up at four. And there goes Bobby Avilas, LA Infamous. Gonna blow the horn as Grayson Goff came down that Dorito side, put one in on Bobby. So after a 4-0 run, San Antonio x Factor able to stop that run and take the lead back 5-4 over LA Infamous. Oof, God, what a close game here. You good know, good game. Like, I love and we've seen these couple runs like this throughout the day. Yep. You know, team goes up a couple points, three, four points. Another, and normally it's a little bit more you know, tit for tat, but you know, these teams very evenly matched. So still anyone's game at this point with a little under seven seconds. Yeah, and I'll tell you right now, after playing this field a couple times, man, this is a fun field. This is a really good field for this event. It is going to be very exciting. The games are just going to get better and better and better. Mm -hmm. You know, there's a lot of good teams out here. It's, it's really set up for some really aggressive play. And, you know, it's going to be a guessing game of which way uh, teams are going to push hard. We've seen X Factor really load up the Dorito side. Yeah. You know, Infamous loading up the Snake side. Yeah, and it, it's lots of options out there. You know, when you create a field, you want to just give the players as many options as possible. Again, uh, like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram, lots of behind the scenes content. And also check out all the content we have on Paintball Access and interviews and statistics. And, you know, there's just such a fascinating story of all these teams. It's just like any other sport. You know, you have the competition that's, that, that you get to watch on the broadcast here, the webcast. And then also there's just just so many different storylines with all of these teams competing against each other and rivalries and you got veterans and rookies. It just, you know, like for instance, in this game right here, San Antonio X Factor is, you know, really had a renewed vigor in their camp for the past two seasons. They won it, win tournaments again. They took third at the World Cup. And on the flip side, Infamous, they won this event last year. And they did not play very well at the last event at Mid-Atlantic Open. They actually had to fight 
against uh, Chattanooga CEP to avoid getting relegated down to the Challengers division, but they did succeed in that match, which is why you're still seeing them in the Champions division. Yeah, you know, and look at the breakout right now by LA Infamous coming out, trying to get up in that snake, doubling up that bunker. You see Bobby Avilas and Damian Ryan, and then Brad McCurley also. They're nice spread across the field there, Matty. Yeah, good cross field spread here, both teams. Infamous stuck a little bit in that stand-up temple there on your screen, but they're gonna make room for one of them to move up since they were able to get up here into the snake. And X there goes X-Factor on in the snake one. Nikki Cuba in the snake one as well, but X-Factor lost two bodies. Colt Roberts and Archie Bonavere come walking off the field early as Demetrius Ninos comes walking off the field. So nobody left alive on the snake side for X-Factor now, two bodies. Infamous with three bodies over here on the snake side. Bobby Avilas is locking off the Dorito side. Kevin Rudolph attacks the 50 Dorito as Nikki Cuba crawls all the way down to the end. And if those bodies are gonna be alive over there on the Dorito side, as soon as Nikki gets up in this snake four. Yeah, and look at this low crawl Rob. from Nikki Cuba. Very smart play by him all the way down. Kept his, you know, keep that pack low. And able to, oh, did he get a crossfield shot on Grayson? Grayson able to make it across. Oh, and Nikki takes the next move. Damian Ryan gets blown apart, trying to come on the inside down the highway in the Doritos. But Nikki Cuba crawls down and just obliterates the body over there at Scott Kemp so it's just in the Dorito one. So just one body left now. Nah, he got taken out too. So nice job by Infamous to tie it up here with five minutes and 23 seconds remaining. Probably about five minutes left by the time Nikki saunters over to grab that flag. What a good game right here by both teams. Uh, battle of attrition, uh, I think, is the good key for this game right now. Uh, yeah, this both is teams. absolutely a you know, trench warfare, war of attrition here. You know, and I, I actually, this is, this is the finals pretty much. I mean, need, all these teams could win this tournament at any time. Well, that's what's cool about the game now. You know, there's so, there's so much effort being put into these squads that and on any given day, you can kind of just pick one of these guys out of a hat. Now, yes, San Diego Dynasty has won two events so far, and Houston Heat had an amazing year last year. They were the world title holder. They are the world title holder, and we're going to see them play this afternoon against 187 Crew. Uh, and Tampa Bay Damage, which I think is going to be a pretty awesome matchup. But, yeah, yeah, I mean, honestly, there's uh, there's a decent amount of teams that could win this tournament. I mean, I mean, even look at Vicious. You guys won the cha or Challengers uh, League at the last event at the Mid-Atlantic Open, and now you just beat the Ironmen, who they also could win an event. You know, it's really wide open in the sport, and that's it's just great for the competition. It's great for the fans because you really never know what's going to happen. So I'm I'm really looking forward to see who's going to prevail here at the 2013 Chicago Open. Yeah, I mean, and I'm telling you, the games are only going to get better. You know, teams, want, now that they get a chance to, uh, you know, try things, got a couple games under their belt, you know, all the teams that are playing in the afternoon division are watching all these uh, teams play, seeing what's working for them, what's not working for them, mm -hmm. you know, and then they can base that off what worked for them in practice, you know, and then try and put together some more dynamic game plans, you know, as the tournament goes on. But, I mean, right now, I mean, we're watching, you know, just a straight grudge match, five to five, uh, but X Factor is gonna be starting with a penalty, they're gonna have a minor uh, on Dixon Yang is the one gonna be going in the box because um, they came out with too many men on the field. So uh, X Factor not doing themselves yeah. any favors by getting a silly penalty. You know, you it's know, got we, nothing to do with the game. And we've seen that a lot this weekend so far. Um, you know, I've, I've seen that too many men penalty probably Twice four already? or five to no, I've, I've times. No, I think I've seen it three or four times minimum. So. I mean, it's just, it's, it's, it's just something, that's a silly, silly, you know, mistake um, that should not happen. So yeah. on the breakout right here, you see LA Infamous coming out of the box. Damian Ryan, nice little spread right now. Uh, looks like Archie Montemore got Cyclopsed up trying to get out wide here on the snake side. So Infamous on the driver's seat on the snake side. They only have one player left alive over here. And so Infamous definitely looking, yeah, it's, oh God, X Factor, mental mistakes, man. Tied game, four minutes and 35 seconds left. Also want to let everyone know at home, it looks like we have a large weather front approaching the tournament site here. So gonna have to stick with us. Uh, if lightning starts hitting, we're gonna have to uh, have a little weather delay. We will keep you informed on that, of course. Uh, and, and we'll see how bad it gets. But right now, Watching this San Antonio X Factor, Los Angeles infamous battle, and infamous definitely 
looking pretty solid at this point to try to take the lead with Grayson Goff, Colt Roberts, and Billy Bernacci, the only players left alive for X Factor. And just five seconds left on that minor penalty, so here is going to be Dixon Yang coming out of the box. He's going to book it for the tower on the snake side, just get chewed up. Yeah, he tried to, he almost made it out. But unfortunately, you know, it's uh, it's one of those things, man. It's When they're that far up the field on you, you're pretty much, yeah, um, well, that's the best way to put it. <laughs> oh, Billy Bernaccio gets shot in the face. He's walking off. So Nicky Cuba gets shot out of that snake corner. He backed up, went into there. But Brad McCurley and Damian Ryan still alive over here on the snake side. And they're going to push right down. Here comes Damian looking for backs. And with just three and a half left, X Factor going to give up that point, put themselves in the hole early with that penalty. Infamous can close the match out right now with the win. San Antonio X Factor going to have to get two if they're going to be able to beat Infamous here. Yeah, closest game we've seen so far in this matchup here. And, you know, Damian Ryan, man, I keep, we keep saying his name. Uh, you know, you coached Damian last year, and I don't want to take, obviously, Infamous is full of stars, but Damian's ability to kind of start to really step up his level of play, because we all watched him play last year, really good. But this year, this, he kind of like found the sixth gear. Well, it, actually, I, you know, I'll tell you right now, it started last year after the first and second tournaments, because we went to Galveston, had that crazy storm, then we went to Phoenix and had to play two tournaments back to back. And he really stepped up at the end of the first tournament, but we, we didn't make it on. And then in the second tournament, I mean, he just came alive. You know, we realized what we needed to do, and he came alive. And from there on out, the next tournament was Chicago, where he was a huge part of that win. And for the rest of the season, like, he, he kicked it into that gear. You know, Bobby Avilas, he's got that gear, too. You know, and there's mm -hmm. about three or four other guys that are just riding that line as well on Infamous that can step it up like that yeah, as well. Yeah, for sure. Now... Also want to let you guys know, remember, sign up early for the West Coast Open. It's 2013 PSP West Coast, West Coast Open. It's going to be August 16th through the 18th. It's going to be held at the A.B. Brown Sports Complex in Riverside, California. Go to PSPEvents.com. Get your team into the fight. Uh, you know, we have there's over 200 teams at this event, and there's a really good chance that the West Coast Open is going to sell out. So that being said, you want to make sure that you have the opportunity to play that tournament. So here we go. This could be the last point if Los Angeles Infamous can get another one on the board here. Five on five game right now, though. Let's see what happens when X Factor comes out five alive, or six, depending how many people they put on the field. And there goes X Factor up the middle. Colt Robert gets shot, going out to the Dorito corner. Yeah. So two bodies. Billy Bernaccia comes walking off right away for X Factor. Ooh, but it looks like Nikki Cuba dying early for Los Angeles Infamous. You know, and right right now we we got to get somebody in the snake for X Factor, but you know Brad McCurley taking the initiative and getting his up there to the snake too. Good, good cross field shot. Well, Chris, right now. only three players left alive for San Antonio X Factor here as they're battling right now to try to stave off this loss. Grayson Goff, Archie Montemayor and Dimitri Ninos. Yeah, and you know, we talked about that center Aztec, and you saw one of the players, I think that's number 44 right there, Grayson Golf, coming out of that center Aztec. You can't get stuck there because once they get up the sides on you, you're pretty much in trouble and you're not gonna be able to lift behind that bunker. Yeah, so now just two players left alive for X Factor, four for Infamous, Damian Ryan, Drew Templeton, uh, Kevin Cali Rudolph, and then Brad McCurley, who you're watching in the snake right now, trying to drop a shot in on Dimitri. And, you know, Brad McCurley playing the snake very, very well this weekend so far. Yeah, Brad McCurley can just hang out and force Dimitri to come get him. Oh. <laughs> Comes over the top and then just rips his cranium apart, trying to dive into the back of Brad's bunker. And Brad's going to close it out right there with Kevin Rudolph and Drew Templeton. Yeah, so Brad McCurley, the MVP of the finals here a year ago, trying to help his team repeat their awesome performance from Chicago. Yeah. And it looks like Los Angeles infamous with Damian Ryan grabbing that flag, and he is going to hang it up. And it looks like they are going to take the victory. And a solid work by Kevin Callie Rudolph. He actually ended up eclipsing Damian Ryan's uh, total of 11 confirmed kills. And Kevin uh, went to town on this one. 13 confirmed kills for Kevin Callie Rudolph. Yeah, ama amazing. Man. He, had, he had a couple runs down that uh, Dorito side that was just amazing, playing very, very well. Um, and look at, look at the stats right now. Uh, for him. I mean, he is just amazing, amazing player at the end of the day. Brad McCurley, 
uh, just playing phenomenal. Yeah, he's playing good, man. And, and the thing with Brad is he's still very young, and he also had a major injury to his knee, which he's fought through and now back stronger than ever. Talked to him before the event. You know, I was like, how's your knee, man? He's like, you know, I'm feeling really strong. Feels as strong as it did before the injury. And so doing some good work over here on the snake side of the field. Brad McCurley, eight confirmed kills in this particular match. And Los Angeles Infamous will be defeating San Antonio X Factor here. It looks like, I think they're going to they let the time run down. Yeah, probably. I mean, it, it doesn't really make a difference. Um, look at this replay right here. Brad McCurley coming over the top and just plastering, plastering Ninos. Yeah, I don't know why they're bothering because they have six points, you know, to let the time run down. It's not going to make a difference. Game's going to be over anyway, so. Yeah, and look at this here. Brad McCurley realizing somebody was trying to come get into his spot. Not going to let that happen. So nice job by Brad McCurley and the rest of the crew from uh, Los Angeles infamous as uh, you know good day for them so far and it wasn't looking pretty for them in the beginning of this game it was not looking pretty for them no but I mean that that's a, a, a supreme test of character you know we always talk about the three-point spread you know talk about a four-point spread able to come back and fight your way through that tie it up and then only give up one more point and then run the, run the rest of the seven off so uh, good match there by LA Infamous. They're going to go 2-0 on the day. X-Factor with two huge leads, two blown leads today. They're going to go 0-2 on the day. So, you know, this bracket shaping up uh, kind of crazy already if you take a look at the schedule for the rest of Friday's action. Yeah, so here it is. Here's the afternoon competition coming at you. Starting, uh, well, we got a weather front coming in, so we'll keep you updated on the start times for these games, but it's going to be San Diego Dynasty, and they're going to be taking on Los Angeles Ironman. And we got Edmonton Impact taking on Upton 187 crew as they're back in the Champions Division. And then Tampa Bay Damage with versus the Tauntauns. Houston Heat going to be taking on Upton 187. Edmonton Impact taking the Tauntauns on. And then also Tampa Bay Damage and Houston Heat to close out the day. All right, so, yeah, I mean, I, really looking forward to those games. There's a lot of really could potentially some more close ones like we just watched. And it looks like Lauren Kelly is down on the sideline with Damian Ryan. Let's check it out. Hey guys, I'm here with Damian Ryan from Infamous. You guys just beat X Factor. Now I want to talk about the beginning. You were down four. That's a really big deficit to come back from. What was going through your mind? Yeah, we tend to have a problem coming out a little slow and letting the teams get up a point or two on us. It's something we've got to, been working on to fix. And I got up four nothing. We just had to have a little gut check and fight and dig deep. All right, well, you have Dynasty and Ironman tomorrow, right? Yeah, so do. what do you need to do to make sure you get those wins, too? Uh, we need to scout. There are two games left before the storm hits. And then we'll get out of here, get some sleep, and regroup for tomorrow. All right, sounds good. That's all down here. Hashtag I love Laura. There are massive opportunities, both with the sport of paintball and for your business. If we are successful in taking our sport to another level, unite with Paintball Access in our quest to elevate paintball and broadcast it to the world. There are advertising packages available for any size business. Join us. Advertise with PBA and help us change the sport for the better forever. Hey, how's it going? My name's Kyle and I'm going to take you on a tour of the ANS Gear Warehouse. So go ahead and follow me. This is our retail showroom where we have all the latest and greatest gear. Go ahead and follow me back to the warehouse. In this aisle of our gun room, we have some dye products. We've got our dye rotors, we've got some dye guns. We've got our GOG Ecstasies. In this aisle, we have some of our Luxes. We have some of our tanks. We've got some Bob Longs and some Empire Axes. On this aisle, we have some more of our Luxes. We have our Planet Eclipse. we got the LV-1. And all the way down, we have all of our Ninja tanks. In our gear bag aisle, we have Dye, we have Planet, and we have HK. So this is our t-shirt section. We have t-shirts from HK Army, Dye, and Empire, just to name a few. So this is our paintball aisle where we have RPS, Valken, and GI Sports. 
This is our mask section. We have Sly Profits, we have Die I-4s, we have E-Flexes, and we have V-Forces. This is our massive selection of apparel. We have brands like Planet Eclipse, HK, Die, and Valken. This is our small parts section. We have our barrels in here, we have Planet Eclipse, we have Lapco, we have Smart Parts. If you want to follow me down this way. Down over here, we've got some Bob Long stuff. And then over here, we have some Titman, some more Empire. And then we have our lenses over here. And we have our headbands all along this wall. So these are our pulling tables where we pull all the product and we check it three times before we send it out to you. At ANS Gear, we offer a variety of shipping options. From free shipping to orders over $100 to international next day and Saturday delivery. This is our customer service department where you can contact us via live chat, by phone, or by email. Thanks for checking out the warehouse tour, guys, and be sure to go online and check out all of our great deals at ansgear.com. All right, just want to let everyone out there watching the broadcast, just want to let you know that due to weather, we will be forced to take a short break. As you can see, there is a big storm that's coming through uh, with some thunderstorms. So we'll go live as soon as the weather allows us to. Thank you guys for your patience. And as soon as this storm blows through, we will get back here and bring the rest of the afternoon's competition to you. Thank you guys for tuning in. Make sure you let everyone know about the 2013 PSP Chicago Open going down here from CPX Sports. And also check out social media, and we will keep you updated with everything via Instagram, Twitter, and also Facebook. And so we will see you guys shortly. Stay with us. There are massive opportunities, both for the sport of paintball and for your business. If we are successful in taking our sport to another level, unite with Paintball Access in our quest to elevate paintball and broadcast it to the world. There are advertising packages available for any size business. Join us. Advertise with PBA and help us change the sport for the better forever. Hey, how's it going? My name's Kyle and I'm going to take you on a tour of the ANS Gear Warehouse. So go ahead and follow me. This is our retail showroom where we have all the latest and greatest gear. Go ahead and follow me back to the warehouse. In this aisle of our gun room, we have some dye products. We've got our dye rotors, we've got some dye guns. We've got our GOG Ecstasies. In this aisle, we have some of our Luxes. We have some of our tanks. We've got some Bob Longs and some Empire Axes. 
on this side, we have some more of our Luxes. We have our Planet Eclipse. We got the LV-1. And all the way down, we have all of our Ninja Tanks. In our gear bag aisle, we have Die, we have Planet, and we have HK. So this is our t-shirt section. We have t-shirts from HK Army, Die, and Empire, just to name a few. So this is our paintball aisle where we have RPS, Valken, and GI Sports. This is our mask section. We have Sly Profits, we have Die I-4s, we have E-Flexes, and we have V-Forces. This is our massive selection of apparel. We have brands like Planet Eclipse, HK, Die, and Valken. This is our small parts section. We have our barrels in here. We have Planet Eclipse, we have Lapco, we have Smart Parts. If you want to follow me down this way. Down over here, we've got some Bob Long stuff. And then over here, we have some Titman, some more Empire. And then we have our lenses over here. And we have our headbands all along this wall. So these are our pulling tables where we pull all the product and we check it three times before we send it out to you. At ANS Gear, we offer a variety of shipping options, from free shipping to orders over $100, to international, next day, and Saturday delivery. This is our customer service department where you can contact us via live chat, by phone, or by email. Thanks for checking out the warehouse tour, guys, and be sure to go online and check out all of our great deals at ansgear.com. Welcome to the Breakdown here, 2013 PSP Chicago Open Edition. I am Matty Marshall alongside Todd Martinez and Chris LaSoya. And this is the biggest paintball event since, except for the World Cup, that we've had in years. Over 200 teams here have assembled at CPX Sports, a uh, out, little outside of Chicago, Illinois. Man, I'm very excited for this event so far. The story of 2013 has been San Diego Dynasty winning the first two events, looking amazing. They rebooted and revamped their squad completely, I wouldn't say completely rebooted, the team, but they definitely brought on some new blood, refocused their efforts with their new coach, Rusty Glaze, doing an amazing, phenomenal job of guiding the talent that he has at his disposal, and they have been dominating the competition. And, you know, Dynasty, they look really sharp this year, guys. And now the question, though, is, A, who can take them down? Because Tampa Bay Damage has met them in the finals twice so far this year and failed both times. They're ranked second, so, but Damage still looks real strong. But the question is, I'm just going to have to open it up to you guys, is can, can, who's going to beat Dynasty, and, and, and if, if, if it's going to happen. Can they win three in a row? I think it's very, very tough to win three in a row. I mean, and the, the two victories that they got so far were definitely deserved, but, you know, they were very tough to earn out there, you know, and there's a lot of teams out here. You got LA Infamous, who, this is their home field. They mm -hmm. won this tournament last year. At, you they were just the coach. Got done. Yeah. yeah, just got done practicing. Um, the Ironmen, we've expected a lot out of them so far this year, and they've underperformed. We know that they're coming out, gunning out here. Um, we've got Vicious 187 up from the Challengers bracket. Mm -hmm. I know that we've been preparing very hard with Omaha 
Vicious. We're ready to come out here and play. And Tampa Bay Damage, who's taken two second places so far this year, they've got to be chomping at the bit to get another shot at Dynasty. You know, Chris, you've been in a situation on powerhouse teams where you went, you're winning events in a row. What is going on in Dynasty's mind right now, having two wins so far here in the PSP and everyone's gunning for them right now? You've been in that spot. What do you think's going on in their minds? Well, you know, as, uh, as coming to that you know, playing ability, you got to just focus on what you do because you're always, you're obviously doing something right. Just continue what you do. Don't, you know, deviate from your game plan. Stay with the, with your game plan. Be aggressive. Do what they do and uh, just kind of hope for the best because the, uh, the teams are coming to gun for them right now. Mm -hmm. Tampa Bay Damage, they want that win. Uh, Omaha Vicious came out from the Challenger Division, as you said, 187. Any one of these teams in this league can win this tournament at any time. Yeah, Infamous, who you used to play for. Yeah, we too. also have Houston Heat, yep. who won three events last year, who has had two disappointing fifth place finishes in both events this year. And while you brought up Houston Heat, really fascinating story with them and a real blow to their roster is that they have two injuries. Now we're going to break down some of the, the key games here and, and as we get in, you know, as we that's what we're doing here, we're breaking things down. It's a breakdown. But the thing is, you're talking about Houston Heat. Now Houston Heat, they won they, they were so dominant last year. Such an amazing performance. It was their first year uh, as, a, as, a, as Houston Heat. Now 